a tfwire.com video review. Hey, this is Matrix Prime with tfwire.com with my video review of the Transformers movie Voyager Ironhide figure. Now, in its alternate mode here, the figure is modeled after a GMC Top Kick. Now, I'm not at all familiar with this uh, model of truck, uh, but just judging by the looks of the toy here, it, it appears to be larger than the uh, regular uh, GMC truck line, so at least it's a nice big truck. Uh, the primary color here is black, of course. Uh, there's also some uh, secondary colors on here for detailing. If you look here at the front, you can see there's silver around the grill, as well as the headlights. The headlights themselves are also painted silver. We have marker lights up here on top of the uh, uh, front fenders, and those are painted orange. We turn the figure around here to the back, you can see the taillights are painted red, and those are outlined in silver. We also have the Autobot logo here on the tailgate, and that's molded into the plastic. Hey, if we look on the side here, you can see we have the 4x4 sticker, and that appears on both sides. And lastly, if we go up here on top of the truck here, you can see that we have five more marker lights, and those are painted blue. Now, we also have gas tanks appearing on, appearing on each side, and these are uh, made of a, uh, a silvery uh, blue uh, color. And there's also some black on there as well. And if you don't like the looks of those, you can simply uh, remove them, just pull them off, and... Now it just looks like you have a big jacked up truck. Uh, the uh, uh, windshield as well as the side windows here are made up of a translucent plastic you can see inside there. However, the rear window is painted the uh, silvery sparkly blue. Uh, that's pretty much it um, for the truck mode here. Uh, there is one other thing I want to comment on and that's the uh, smokestacks here. Um, we kind of got the circumcised version of the smokestacks. Um, if you look here, get it, the angle just right, they just barely come up over the, the smallest point here on the uh, roof of the truck. And they're also black. Uh, if we look at the packaging for the figure, you can see that the smokestacks are quite a bit larger here. And they're also painted silver, uh, which would have made a lot more sense and looked a hell of a lot better than uh, what we ended up with. Uh, but with that said, uh, there isn't much the truck mode can do. It's just got wheels so it can roll. There's no weapons in this mode or anything. Uh, I'm probably going to give this mode uh, probably a uh, 7 out of 10. It's nice, it's decent, uh, there just isn't much to it. Alright, so with that said, I'm going to show you the uh, transformation to robot mode here. Um, the first thing we need to do is flip down the front bumper here. Next, we need to go around to the rear of the truck here. And we need to fold out the uh, rear side panels and fold them out to the side here. The next thing we need to do is uh, lift up the uh, uh, side panels here as well as the hood. And this is all connected, so you just simply lift it out from the side. It flips up on its own. Next, we need to take the arms, which are currently connected together here, separate them. Now you simply uh, fold them up to the sides of the truck here. The next thing we need to do is uh, separate the legs here, which is currently the rear of the truck, from uh, the uh, rear window there. And now if we look here, this inside piece here on the waist has two little holes, and the waist itself actually has two pegs. So you simply connect those fold it down on top of it. It's a bit tight, but it will go. Next, you separate the legs here. And if you look here, this panel here is going to actually be the foot. If I fold that down, you'll see that we got some automorph going on here. And as I'm flipping this down, this panel will fold out and around the side of the leg. Let me push this back up again so you can see what else is going on. As I'm also uh, pushing the foot down, we got the heel coming down, and this wheel is also folding around to the back of the leg as well. So I'll do that to the other side as well here. The next thing we need to do is uh, rotate the upper body around, and that's a, sometimes it's a bit of a problem to do because the arms get in the way, and it's just a bit tricky. There we go, got the top, upper body uh, rotated around there. Uh, now I'll go ahead and uh, 
take this uh, piece on the back here and fold this up and get that down and out of the way here. Let me fold the bumper down as far as it'll go. There we go. Fold that piece down. All right. So the next thing we need to do here is get the arms in position. Rotate them around, get the hand around here. Do that to the other side as well. All right, so now that we're this far, we need to lift the head up here. I actually need to move the arms out a little bit. Now we need to lift the head up as far as it'll go. And on the inside here on the head, and it's probably too dark to see, but there's actually a peg on each side, and that's going to go and connect into the wheel here on the shoulder. Just connect that. Now the head will stay in place. Now we need to take the chest panel here and raise this little panel here. Lift it up. And this doesn't actually lock into place or anything. It just kind of floats there. You actually fold these pieces down and out of the way here. And this just kind of folds up and rests there. Alright, so the last thing we need to do here is take the, the doors here, the rear doors on the truck, and simply fold those inside. And we now have Ironhide in robot mode. Uh, now, uh, the color scheme is practically the same. We do have a new color though, uh, and that's uh, gold. We have some gold here on the uh, crotch area, as well as just above the uh, uh, the uh, upper legs here. And if we look here on the face, I don't know, it's probably not going to come out because the figure is so dark. But if we look here on the face, we also have some uh, gold on the forehead, as well as on uh, the, the antenna or ears here, as well as on the nose to sort of give it that uh, ring through the nose look. Now, the face of the robot certainly has that bovine look to it, uh, which I find kind of funny. We stand the figure back up here. And we also have some gold down here on the feet as well. And we also have some more of that uh, silvery blue. Um, we have it on the chest here, of course. There's some more on the head. Some more here on the uh, um, on the uh, center portion of the figure here, and there's also some up here on the lower legs as well. Now the figure does come with uh, weapons. Now, well, before I get to those, let me talk about the articulation. The head can rotate a full 360 degrees. Uh, the arms can move in and out of the shoulder. They can bend at the elbow, and the hands can rotate. Uh, the legs can move forward and backward. Uh, they can move in and out from the body, and they can, of course, bend at the knee. And you can move the feet up and down, but when you do that, you're, of course, going to activate the automorph. So, I just be warned of that. All right, so getting back to the weapons here. Like I said, the figure does include weapons, and these are the gas tanks uh, from the truck mode. Now, you can place these on uh, each forearm here. But when you do that, uh, they're just for looks. They don't actually do anything. Uh, now this one actually has uh, spring-loaded missiles in it, but uh, you actually need both pieces uh, to make that work. And what you do is, you simply uh, push these two pieces together, and when you do, there's little levers on the other piece, and if you push one, get my hand out of the way, if you push one of them, it will actually fire. Um, these two pieces don't actually uh, lock together all that well, unless you actually push the, the lock down. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so if you push the lever, it will fire a missile. Um, I don't know how I like this. Um, I think both of them should have been missile launchers, and they could have been uh, fired independently. Uh, because as they are, if you just place them on each forearm, like I said, they don't actually do anything. They're just sort of uh, just for looks. Uh, but overall, I think this is a, a nice figure in robot mode. The transformation can be a pain. Um, I've transformed this a few times now. I've had pieces fall off while I was doing it and become disconnected, so you have to put them back together again. Uh, but in robot mode, I think it looks fantastic. Um, I'm probably going to give the... Uh, 
robot mode a 8 out of 10 uh, so overall uh, I'm probably gonna give this figure an 8 out of 10 um, that's not an average since I gave the truck mode a 7 out of 10 and this an 8 out of 10 uh, but I do think the robot mode makes up for the truck mode just a little bit but just be warned of the transformation process like I said a few pieces may fall off uh, during that uh, process so